X-rays may not sound like the most exciting thing in the world, but they're actually pretty cool. Let's face it, they're like a superpower that lets doctors see through your skin and bones. Plus, they're a lot safer than other forms of radiation, so there's no need to worry about turning into the Incredible Hulk. X-rays have been a game changer in the medical world. They allow doctors to diagnose broken bones, find tumors, and even spot foreign objects that people have accidentally swallowed. So, join us as we take a crazy journey into the most insane things ever found inside the human body. From killer magnets to nails and knives, these are the 20 strangest things found in an x-ray. <laughs> Nail in the brain. Get ready for the wild story of a man who didn't even realize he shot himself in the brain with a nail gun. Yes, you heard me right. I said shot himself in the brain with a nail gun. Meet Dante Otulo, a 32-year-old from Illinois who was building a shed at the back of his house when the unthinkable happened. Dante was holding the nail gun above his head when he felt a sharp pain. He assumed that a nail had grazed his head. But boy was he wrong. His partner, Gail Glanzer, helped clean up the wound and the next day, Dante started feeling a bit woozy. That's when Gail decided to take him to the hospital. But wait, it gets crazier. When doctors took an x-ray of Dante's brain, they found a three and a quarter inch nail lodged inside. Yep, you heard me right. A nail was chilling inside his brain. And get this, it was only millimeters away from the part of the brain that controls motor function. An ambulance was immediately summoned to transfer Dante to a hospital specializing in brain injuries. Dante underwent surgery and the nail was successfully removed. He even had part of his skull replaced with titanium mesh. When asked about his ordeal, Dante said, It really felt like I got punched on the side of the head. I thought it went past my ear. Then they brought in the picture, x-ray. I said to the doctor, is this a joke? Did you get that out of your doctor's joke file? The doctor said, no man, this is your head. According to neurosurgeons who carried out the surgery on Dante, his skull actually stopped the nail from becoming further embedded in his brain and prevented almost certain death. Dante was even cracking jokes after his surgery, saying, we need to get the Discovery Channel up in here to tape this. His partner Gail couldn't believe his sense of humor, calling him one of those medical miracles. Well, there you have it, the unbelievable story of Dante Atulo, the man who shot himself in the brain with a nail gun and lived to tell the tale. You could say he really hit the nail on the head with that one. And now it's time for our open discussion. Check out these extreme x-rays. Yes, we bet you never knew that you could get tools like a wrench lodged there. Yikes, that's gotta be painful. The whole internet is going crazy over these cringy x-rays, and we can see why. So, what do you guys think? Let us know using the hashtag open discussion in the comment section below. Surgical scissors. In Northeast Vietnam, a man named Ma Van Nat went to Thai Noang Hospital after a road accident, only to find out he had a strange object lodged in his abdomen. An ultrasound revealed that it was a pair of surgical forceps that had been left inside him for 18 years and had rusted away. Apparently, Nat had been operated on in the same hospital back in 1998. After the accident, he had felt mild but persistent pain after the surgery but a clinic had diagnosed him with an ulcer, and he had been taking pain relief medications ever since. Little did he know that he had a set of forceps living rent-free inside his body. Fortunately, the medical team at Thai Noing Hospital successfully removed the forceps, and with help from colleagues in Hanoi. Nat was surely relieved to have the 15 centimeter long instrument out of his system at last. But here's the kicker. The hospital where Nat was first operated on acknowledged the incident, but claimed it would be hard to identify the responsible medical crew, as patient records only go back 15 years. They promised to do their best to find out who had left the forceps inside Nat's stomach, even if they were retired. Let's hope they solve this medical mystery before anyone else gets a surprise souvenir from the operating room. Engagement Ring Grab some popcorn and get ready for a wild ride, because this story is straight out of a Hollywood rom-com. Jenna Evans, a bride-to-be from California, had a dream that she swallowed her engagement ring to keep it safe from some sketchy bad guys. 
But when she woke up, she realized that she had actually swallowed her ring in real life. With her heart racing and her stomach churning, Jenna and her fiancé, Bobby Howell, rushed to the emergency center. Jenna struggled to explain the situation through her laughter and tears. But the doctor quickly got to work, and x-rays showed that the ring was indeed in Jenna's stomach. But the doctor decided not to let nature take its course. Instead, Jenna had to undergo an upper endoscopy, a procedure where a thin scope with a light and camera is used to look inside the upper digestive tract. Luckily, the doctors were able to retrieve the ring from Jenna's intestines and give it back to a relieved Bobby. Jenna may have promised never to swallow her ring again, but she certainly won't forget this crazy adventure anytime soon. And the internet is freaking out over the bizarre story, with people sharing their own crazy dream-related mishaps. Who knew that swallowing an engagement ring could cause such a stir? Spoons, knife, and screwdrivers. Doctors in Mandi, India were left stunned when they discovered a treasure trove of objects in a patient's gut. And we're not talking about a couple of pennies here. We're talking seven spoons, two toothbrushes, two small screwdrivers, a knife, and a small rod. That's right, this patient had been collecting utensils and tools, like they were going out of style. Relatives of the man who suffers from a psychiatric disorder called Pika rushed him to the hospital after he complained of severe pain. And boy were they in for a surprise. The x-ray revealed an entire stash of items just chilling in his stomach. Grim photos showed the objects covered in food from the man's belly, giving new meaning to the phrase food for thought. Dr. Suraj Bardwaj, who operated on the patient, said they could clearly see the tip of the knife peeping out of his body. Oof, but that was just the beginning. As they went in to remove the objects, they found even more items they had only read about in books. The full operation took a whopping four hours, leaving the doctors reeling from the bizarre discovery. The good news is that the patient is now stable. But let this be a lesson to all of us. Stick to eating food, not utensils and tools. 30 Magnets and Steel Balls An 8-year-old from Indiana recently made headlines after swallowing not one, not two, but 30 magnets and steel balls from a toy. That's right, 30. And why did she do it, you ask? According to her dad, the little daredevil thought they looked like candy. Yikes. The poor little girl named Haley had to undergo emergency surgery to save her from eight gunshot or stab-like holes in her intestines caused by the magnetic objects. Can you even imagine? Her dad was understandably beside himself, saying he couldn't believe his little girl had done something like this. She gets A's and B's, and we taught her not to do stuff like this, he said. Thankfully, Haley survived the harrowing experience, but she had to spend two weeks in the hospital. Her parents had no idea she had swallowed the pieces until two days after the fact, when Haley began experiencing intense pain that left her unable to stand up. Talk about a scary situation. The toy responsible for Haley's ordeal is called a Magnetix made by Mega Brands, who issued a statement expressing their sadness over what happened. However, they were quick to point out that swallowing 30 pieces of any toy is likely to result in harm, regardless of the brand. So, let this be a lesson to you all kids out there. If something doesn't look like food, don't put it in your mouth. 40 Knives A man in India recently made headlines after spending not one, not two, but a whopping two months swallowing knives. That's right, you heard that correctly, knives. And we're not talking about butter knives here. We're talking about foldable knives that were up to seven inches long when fully extended. The man's strange desire to consume metal left doctors shaking in their boots. He had a wild urge to consume metal. Even for us, the experienced surgeons, it was frightening, said the doctor, who led the operation to remove the 40 knives from the patient's stomach. We were so nervous, a small mistake could have taken the patient's life. In my 20 years of practice, I have never seen anything like it. It took the doctor and his team two whole days to come up with a diagnosis and surgical plan. Then, in a five-hour operation, they carefully removed each and every knife from the man's gut. Some were folded, some were open, and some were even rusting and broken. Yikes! Thankfully, the patient, a 42-year-old father of two, is now on the road to recovery. He expressed his gratitude to the doctors and hospital staff, saying this, I'm sorry I let my family down. I'll be forever thankful to doctors and hospital staff for saving my life. 
However, he won't be discharged until he's cleared by psychiatrists, as it's clear he's dealing with some serious mental health issues. But hey, if the urge to eat metal strikes again, the doctor and his team have some advice for the man. We told him if you ever feel like you need more iron in your body, try spinach. We have a feeling that's not going to cut it though, but we'll keep our fingers crossed and that this man gets help that he needs and never tries to swallow a knife again. 2 kilogram Dumbbell In Brazil, doctors were left scratching their heads when a man walked into the hospital complaining of stomach pains and nausea. But that wasn't the weird part. Turns out the poor guy had a 2 kilogram dumbbell jammed up his rear end. Yep, you heard that right. Apparently, the 54-year-old had tried to remove the weight himself, but things didn't go quite as planned. So he waited two whole days before finally seeking medical attention. At first, the doctors couldn't figure out what was causing the man's discomfort, but after some x-rays, they were shocked to find the culprit. A 20 centimeter long dumbbell lodged where the colon meets the rectum. Ouch. Now you might think that removing a 2 kilogram weight from someone's nether regions would be a pretty simple task for a team of medical professionals. But nope, it wasn't that easy. The first attempt to remove the dumbbell ended with the man being sedated and doctors trying to pluck it out with surgical tweezers. Unfortunately, that didn't work. So they had to go for the old-fashioned hands-on approach. Yep, you guessed it, the surgeon had to stick his hand up there and fish the thing out. After three days in the hospital, the patient was finally able to leave. And while we're sure he was happy to have the dumbbell removed, we're betting he won't be hitting the gym anytime soon. Lucky Betty. Oh puppies, they're cute, they're cuddly, and they'll eat just about anything. But Betty the Bull Terrier took it to a whole new level when she decided to swallow a 10 inch plastic arrow that was almost as long as she was. You can imagine Betty's regret and discomfort after her greed and curiosity got the best of her. Thankfully, her owner, Emma Watson, was quick to notice something was wrong when Betty went off her food and started being sick. She rushed her to the Thamesmead PDSA Pet Aid Hospital, where an x-ray revealed the foreign object lodged in her intestine. Veterinary surgeon Chris Pollard was shocked by the x-ray, stating that the arrow was so long it virtually ran through Betty's body. But with emergency surgery, Betty pulled through and is now on the mend. However, the Watsons know they can't let their guard down with this little mischief maker. Even after such a close call, Betty still tried to eat the TV remote control as soon as she got home. So they'll be keeping a very close eye on her to prevent any future mishaps. Lesson learned, Betty. Stick to dog toys. And don't swallow them. High-powered buckyballs. Hold on to your stomachs because this story is a real gut buster. A three-year-old girl in Portland, Oregon had to undergo surgery after swallowing a whopping 37 magnets. Peyton Bushnell had been complaining about stomach pain and her parents thought it was just a regular old tummy ache. But as her symptoms worsened, they knew something wasn't quite right. After a trip to Children's Hospital and an x-ray, doctors discovered a circular group of magnets in Peyton's intestines. These weren't just any ordinary magnets either, they were high-powered buckyballs that had snapped together inside of her, pinching her intestines and causing one hole in her stomach and three in her intestine. Peyton's parents suspected that she mistook the small metallic balls for edible toppings used to decorate cupcakes. These tiny magnets are so small that it's hard to even notice if a couple of them go missing in your house. And people who swallow them often experience flu-like symptoms within a few days. Yikes. Thankfully, Peyton's surgery was a success and she's now recovering well. But her parents are warning others to be careful with these types of products as they're intended for adults use only. So let's all remember to keep our magnets out of reach of little hands and stomachs. Nail in the heart. Well, it seems like Eugene Racco is a real life superhero. The man shot a three and a half inch nail straight into his heart and lived to tell the tale. Move over, Iron Man. We've got Eugene Racco, the carpenter who can survive anything. According to Fox News, Racco was working on a neighbor's deck when the nail gun misfired and lodged the nail into his chest. But Racco didn't panic. Oh no, he knew he had to act fast. As soon as it hit me, I knew I was in trouble. And I thought, man, I gotta get somewhere and get help. Fast, Racco said. 
Instead of dialing 911 like most people, Raiko's wife, Carmen, drove him straight to the hospital. The doctors at Abbott Northwestern Hospital in Minneapolis were shocked to see that the nail had actually pierced Raiko's heart twice. But don't worry folks, this carpenter wasn't going down without a fight. The nail was designed in a way that prevented it from going any deeper than it already had. Heart surgeon Dr. Louis said that the nail stopped just two millimeters short of the coronary artery, which could have been fatal. But thankfully, the sternum caught the nail and prevented it from going any further. The doctors were able to remove the nail with care and repair the damage in Reiko's heart with just two stitches. Now Reiko is back home with his family, recovering from his nail-induced heart surgery. A benefit fund has been set up to help support the family while Reiko takes some time off work. All we can say is that if anyone deserves a break, it's Eugene Reiko, the man who survived the impossible. And be careful with nail guns. Large surgical tool. A Montreal woman who underwent surgery for ovarian cancer got more than she bargained for when a massive metal plate was accidentally left inside her body. That's right, this poor lady was carrying around a 33 centimeter plate in her abdomen for two whole months before an x-ray uncovered the medical mishap. Sylvie Dubay knew something was off when she woke up from the operation feeling pain in her shoulder. I felt like it, I had been stabbed, the pain was so intense she told Radio Canada, but despite her complaints, the discomfort was attributed to normal post-surgical issues. It wasn't until the x-ray that the massive plate was discovered. An investigation by the Centre Hospitalier de Université de Montréal found that the metal plate was mistakenly accounted for in the instrument count at the end of the operation, despite still being in use. The hospital has since pledged to update its procedures to prevent future incidents. Spoon stuck in food pipe. A man in China decided it would be a good idea to swallow an 8-inch spoon on a dare, and then proceeded to leave it in his esophagus for a whole year. Yep, you heard that right. The spoon didn't cause him much trouble at first, and he went on with his life, as if nothing was out of the ordinary. But then things took a turn for the worse. One day, Mr. Zhang got into an altercation and was punched in the chest. Suddenly, he felt a sharp pain and had trouble breathing. It turns out the spoon had shifted, causing him all sorts of trouble. He finally went to the hospital, where doctors discovered the spoon covered in a cocoon of mucus. Gross. The doctors had to act fast to remove the spoon before things got even worse. They put Mr. Zhang under general anesthesia and carefully removed the spoon via his mouth. It was a risky procedure with a lot of potential complications, but thankfully, it went smoothly. Dr. Shi Wu, one of the doctors who performed the procedure, had some wise words for anyone thinking about trying a similar stunt. Don't be impulsive and do things that will hurt you, he warned, because foreign bodies that enter the esophagus or stomach, they can be life-threatening at any time. Truer words were never spoken, Doc. Steel cup. In a bizarre incident that took place in Madhya Pradesh's Satna district, doctors had to perform surgery to remove a small steel cup from an old man's rectum. Yep, you heard that right. I'm sure you enjoyed hearing it just as much as I enjoy saying it. According to media reports, the victim, a poor farmer in his 60s, was experiencing severe back pain and was rushed to a private hospital. After an endoscopy and an x-ray, the doctors were left flabbergasted to find a mysterious obstruction in his digestive system. Upon further investigation, it was revealed that the man had fallen prey to some quack doctors who had suggested that inserting a steel glass into his rectum would cure his stomach ache. Can you believe that? Unfortunately, the man agreed to the bizarre treatment. And before he knew it, he was sedated and had a steel cup inserted, well, you know where. Thankfully, the victim is now on the road to recovery. But this incident should serve as a warning to us all. Let's stick to the legitimate medical treatments and steer clear of any dubious cures that could end up doing more harm than good. Pruning shears. Put down your gardening shears because this story will make you think twice about pruning your plants. In a bizarre incident that could have easily been ripped from a horror movie, an 86-year-old man in Arizona found himself impaled through the eye socket with a pair of pruning shears. Leroy Lutcher was minding his own business, trimming his beloved plants in his backyard, when he lost his balance and tumbled onto his trusty shears, 
The shears didn't just nick him or give him a scratch, they went straight into his eye socket and all the way down his neck. Ouch. But the craziest part? Despite the shears lodged in his head, Lutcher was still conscious and talking when he was rushed to the hospital. Talk about tough as nails. Surgeons had their work cut out for them during the procedure as they worked for over an hour to remove the shears. Luckily, they were successful and Lutcher is expected to make a full recovery with no major damage to his brain or eyesight. Amazing, right? This terrifying incident is a clear reminder that gardening can be a dangerous activity and we should always take precautions to avoid injury, wear gloves, protective eyewear, and always be aware of your surroundings. You don't want to end up like Lutcher, but if you do, at least you'll know that the human body can be surprisingly resilient, and the skill of the medical professionals can be life-saving. 7-inch scissors Pat Skinner from Sydney, Australia went in for a routine surgery to have part of her colon removed in 2001. But the poor woman ended up with a new accessory, a pair of surgical scissors, almost 7 inches long, left inside of her. The 69-year-old lady went through 18 months of agony and was unable to sit or lie down without feeling extreme pain. Even though she complained to the doctors several times, they kept insisting that it was part of the healing process. The woman was so desperate that she even started taking antidepressants and received counseling. Eventually, she decided to visit her GP again, stating she felt like she had been kicked with steel-capped boots. This time, the doctor sent her for an x-ray, and they were in for a rude shock. They discovered the surgical scissors wedged up against her tailbone. Pat's husband, Don, was amazed that the surgeons had not noticed that they had left the scissors inside his wife. He questioned, how can you not see them? And if you haven't seen them, doesn't someone look around us and say, um, where did the scissors go? The woman had to undergo a second operation, but since the tissue had grown over the scissors, surgeons had to remove a part of her bowel as well. The St. George Hospital, Sydney, where the operation was performed, apologized to Miss Skinner for the mistakes and offered her compensation. The hospital explained that it was a human error and assured that they were taking steps to ensure that such an incident never occurred again. This strange incident serves as a reminder that even a routine surgery can have unexpected complications. And in this case, it's also a lesson for surgeons to double check their equipment before sewing up a patient. 63 Steel Spoons Check out this crazy x-ray straight out of India. In a shocking turn of events, doctors had to remove a whopping 63 spoons from a man's stomach during a two-hour surgery. That's right, you heard that correctly. 63 spoons. The patient, Yogesh, had been experiencing severe abdominal pain for months, and doctors initially thought it might be a tumor. But after an x-ray, they discovered that the real culprit was multiple spoons lodged in his stomach. Apparently, Yogesh had a bit of a spoon-swallowing habit, along with other non-food objects like nails and screwdrivers. This bizarre habit had caused some serious damage to his insides, including ulcers and bleeding in his stomach. Not to mention there was a risk of the spoons perforating his intestines. Yikes! Thankfully, the surgery was a success, and Yogesh is now on the road to recovery. But this case is a sobering reminder of the dangers of pika, a condition where people crave and eat non-food items. Pika can be caused by a variety of factors, including nutritional deficiencies and psychological or developmental disorders, and it can have serious health consequences if left untreated. So let's all stick to using spoons for their intended purpose, okay? A tree growing inside a human body. In Russia, doctors were left scratching their heads when they discovered a tiny fir tree growing inside a man's lung. Yep, you heard that right. A freaking tree was sprouting inside of him. The man in question, Artyom Sadorkin, was experiencing some serious chest pains, and he feared the worst. Doctors conducted some x-rays and they were shocked to find what they thought was a cancerous growth in his lung. So they scheduled a routine operation to remove it. But what they found inside was totally unexpected. A 5 centimeter tall fir tree rooted inside him like it was a pot. According to surgeon Vladimir Kamashev, the branch was green and it looked like it had been freshly plucked from a nearby forest. How the tree ended up inside Artyom's lung, however, is still a mystery. 
Some people speculate that RTM's job as a plant expert may have led him to accidentally inhale a branch while he was working in the woods. Others believe that he may have inhaled a seed that sprouted into a tree inside of his body. But RTM himself doesn't buy either theory, claiming that plants need light, water, and carbon dioxide to grow, not human tissue. In any case, RTM's incredible case serves as a reminder that our bodies are capable of some truly strange and unexpected things. Who knows what else we might discover lurking inside of us? Nokia 3310 Phone In a strange twist of events, doctors in Kosovo discovered a mobile phone inside a man's stomach during surgery. That's right, a whole phone, not just a SIM card or a charger, but the entire thing. The 33-year-old man had been experiencing stomach pain for several days before finally seeking medical attention, and an x-ray revealed the shocking truth. But wait, it gets crazier. Apparently, the man has a history of criminal activity and had recently spent some time in the slammer. Doctors suspect that he may have been attempting to smuggle the phone into prison by swallowing it. The phone had even been split into three parts to make it more digestible. Talk about going to great lengths for a phone call. Thankfully, the surgery to remove the phone was successful and the man's organs remained unscathed. However, there was a real worry that the phone's battery might have leaked and caused some internal damage. Luckily, that wasn't the case and the man is expected to make a full recovery. It just goes to show that some people will stop at nothing to stay connected, even if it means swallowing an entire cell phone. Good thing he didn't try to smuggle in an iPad. 55 batteries. Get ready for a shocking story that will leave you charged up. Doctors in Ireland have pulled off a jaw-dropping feat by removing a shocking 55 batteries from a woman's gut and stomach. The poor patient had suffered from serious stomach pain and vomiting, which prompted her to go to the hospital. But what the doctors found on a CT scan was absolutely shocking. Dozens of batteries lodged in her digestive tract. The medical team sprang into action to remove all 55 batteries during a three-hour surgery. But what was the damage caused by these power sources? The doctors revealed that the batteries had wreaked havoc on the woman's stomach and intestines, potentially causing dangerous complications like infection, perforation, and internal bleeding. If you're wondering what kind of batteries these were, some of them were the dangerous button batteries that are commonly used in small electronic devices. When ingested, these batteries can release toxic chemicals and cause severe damage to the digestive tract. It's not clear how the batteries got into the woman's stomach, but one thing is for sure, this case is a testament to the importance of seeking medical attention as soon as you suspect you've swallowed something. Growing Pea Plant Imagine going to the doctor with a chronic cough and chest pain only to find out that a pea plant is growing in your lung. That's exactly what happened to a 75-year-old man who had been smoking for a long time. Doctors initially thought it was a cancer, but a biopsy revealed that it was a tiny plant. As you can imagine, the medical community was stunned. How could a pea plant sprout inside a man's lung? The patient was referred to a respiratory specialist who conducted a series of tests to figure out what was going on. It turns out the man had inhaled a pea seed and somehow it managed to grow inside his lung. Talk about a green thumb. The plant had grown to be a half inch long and it was causing the man's cough and chest pain. Fortunately, the respiratory specialist was able to remove the plant and the man is expected to make a full recovery. So, what's the lesson here? Well, for starters, be careful where you breathe in. You never know what might root in your lungs. And secondly, the human body is an amazing and unpredictable thing. Who knows what other bizarre things might be lurking inside of us. And never, ever swallow watermelon seeds. Wow, we had no idea human beings were capable of surviving these insane objects in their bodies. The human body is pretty amazing. So, which of these x-rays disasters is the worst of them all? And what's the strangest thing you've ever swallowed? You can let us know what you think in the comment section below. And don't forget to give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. You can also subscribe to our channel for more awesome content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.